back to another crochet tutorial today I'm going to show you how I made these baby booties with this matching baby bonnet I made it for my daughter who is now eight months old it still fits her I made it for her when she was six months old so just so you have a reference about the sizes I used a very very thin yarn I when I ordered it on Amazon it looked much thicker so it takes a little bit of a while to make it but if you just use a thicker yarn you can do so and then it will be much much faster but it's pretty straightforward so it's not very difficult and yeah I think that was it already everything that you need to make this I'm gonna list up of course in the description box and ah, also what I wanted to show you here the details it's like this so I made it like this and then here because it's something that um, it's very frustrating with babies that uh, they always lose their uh, shoes and um, and socks so I made sure that you can tie it up here which makes it uh, much easier to wear and this part here I just put it over so you can actually also hide it if you don't want it to see and yeah that was it actually everything that you will need it's listed below in the description box or you're gonna see in the next uh, few minutes <laughs> seconds and yeah that's everything and I wish you a lot of fun crocheting with me So um, we're gonna start off with the baby booties. You can see here a closer look to this little shoe. You can see how you can fold it and also you can see the ribbon so to make it tighter. And yeah, it's very comfortable like this so they don't lose it because babies really like to lose their shoes. And so you can simply tie it off like this and then you fold over this part and yeah the yarns that I used are three different colors from this brand here it's very very thin yarn more thin than I expected to <laughs> and I also used scissors a darning needle to weave in the yarn and a three millimeter hook let's start off with the bottom part of the shoe we're gonna start off by making a slip knot and then we're gonna chain 20 plus three extra chains After we finish making the 20 plus 3 chains, we're gonna make a half double crochet into the third chain from the hook. And then we're gonna continue with half double crochet until the end of the row by leaving out the last one. So we're gonna make 18 more half double crochet. Once we finished making our 18 half double crochet, we're gonna make three half double crochet into this last chain. So three in one. So this was one, two, and three. Three half double crochet into the same chain. 
and now we're gonna continue on the opposite side with half double crochet until the end of the row or better said until we reach the beginning So again we did 18 half double crochet and now we are where we made the first double crochet there in this same chain we're gonna make two more double crochet so one and two and then we're going to make a slip stitch into the first chain of the into the first half double crochet of the row and then we're gonna start off the new row by chaining one time and then we're gonna do a single crochet into the next chain or stitch. Since we're going to chain a uh, crochet in rounds it's better to put a stitch marker at every first chain of the row so that it's easier to understand which one was the first uh, single crochet in our case now and next we're gonna make one more single crochet into the same chain so in the first chain there are going to be two single crochet And then we're going to continue with 18 single crochet. So after making the 18 single crochet, we're going to make two single crochet into the next two chains. So one, two, and then move to the next one and again one and two. And then one more time, one. And two and now we're going to single crochet normally one in each chain for the next 18 so 18 single crochet Once we finished making the 18 single crochet, we're gonna do two single crochet into the next two chains. So we did two and now one, two. And now we reach the end of the row. We're gonna remove the stitch marker. We're going to make one slip stitch into this first chain from the row. And now we're gonna move on with the third row. We're gonna chain one and then we're gonna single crochet into the first uh, stitch. And again, we're gonna put inside the stitch marker in the, into our first stitch. So this one counts as our first single crochet and then we're gonna make nine more single crochet. So we're gonna have 10 single crochet in total.
If she only win the rain, if I'm gonna butterfly, baby, you give me a good night. You whip up my appetite. And after making the 10 single crochet, we're going to make five half double crochet into the next five stitches. After we've done the five half double crochet, we're gonna make five double crochet. So this is a double crochet, one, the second one, two, three, and two more double crochet. And five. And now we are going to make an increase again. We're gonna increase at the next five, no, sorry, six stitches. So we're going to make two double crochet into each of the next six stitches. So we're gonna do the first one. One double crochet and one more into the same stitch. And we're gonna repeat this into the next five stitches. So always two double crochet in one stitch. Now we're gonna do the same thing what we did at the opposite side. First we're gonna do five double crochet. One, two, three, four, and five. And then, as we did at the opposite side, five half double crochet. So after we finish making the five half double crochet, we're going to make 10 single crochet. We're gonna make 10 and then we have two more increases left. So now we're gonna make two increases, that means two single crochet into one stitch and two single crochet into the next stitch. And now again the same thing as before, we're gonna remove the stitch marker, we're gonna make a slip stitch into the first a stitch from the row and we're gonna start again by we're gonna start off the row again by chain one and one more single crochet into the same first stitch and we're gonna insert the stitch marker and then we're gonna make nine single crochet into the next nine stitches. This was one, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one more, nine. And now, same as the round before, we're going to make five half double crochet. So, and now we need to do the double crochet. We're gonna make one double crochet in each of the next seven stitches. We did six double crochet, now one more is left, seven, and now we're gonna make eight increases, which means we're gonna make two double crochet into the next, into the same stitch for the next eight stitches, so eight times. So as you can see, we did our increases, so you can see that this is the part where the toes of the foot are. So now we're gonna continue again with seven double crochet, exactly the same thing that we did at the opposite side. So after making seven double crochet, we're gonna do again the same thing as on the opposite side. We are going to make five half double crochet. After making five half double crochet, we're gonna make ten single crochet. And then we're gonna make four increases single crochet increases which means four times we're gonna make once two single crochet into the same stitch and then at the end of the round we're gonna do again a slip stitch to connect with the first single crochet that we did For round five, we're gonna chain one, make one single crochet, insert the stitch marker. And then we are actually finished with all the increases. I forgot to film this part, but 
you are going to make one single crochet into each stitch which means it's gonna be in total 69 single crochet and then you're gonna again connect with a slip stitch at the end of the row after you finished this round of single crochet you are going to chain two and then we are going to make half double crochet into each stitch but into the back loop only so we're not gonna put into the first two loops into the two loops but only the back loop only you can see it here in the video So now we're finished with the bottom part of the shoe and now we're gonna change the color. We're gonna chain two and then we're gonna make again a row of half double crochet and we're gonna do again normally into both uh, loops so we're not gonna do the half double crochet into the back loop only but just simple half double crochet and at the end of the row you're gonna connect again with a slip stitch and we're gonna continue this for the next two rounds so we're gonna do three rounds in total of simple half double crochet into each stitch so now we can cut off the other yarn we don't need it for the moment after we made three rounds of half double crochet into each stitch we're gonna continue with decreases so we're gonna chain two and then we're gonna make half double crochet into the next 19 stitches now we have to make these increases that you can see on this other shoe so doing increases means that we are going to minus stitches so that we have left less stitches into the in the next round so we're gonna do 12 decreases in here you can see how to make a decrease uh, on the video basically you're gonna insert the loop the hook sorry into the first stitch and then you're gonna insert it into the next stitch again by yarning over before and then you're gonna yarn over again and go through all loops on the hook so this is our third decrease so as you can see here we did our 12 decreases half double crochet decreases and now we have to make 25 half double crochet so it's gonna be 25 half double crochet until we reach the beginning of the round again So at the end of the row we connected again with the slip stitch and now we're gonna chain two again and we're gonna make again 19 half double crochet before we're gonna make the increases and uh, decreases I'm sorry so after doing the 19 half double crochet we're gonna decrease again and this time we're gonna decrease we're gonna make six decreases
So after we made the six decreases, it looks like this now. And now we're gonna do again 25 half double crochet into each stitch until the end of the round. Yes, I'm gonna put a Baby, you give me a bit that you whip up my at the end of the round, we're gonna do again a slip stitch into the first half double crochet. We're gonna start off the row again with two chains and then we're gonna make again 19 half double crochet. And after the 19 half double crochet, we're gonna make three half double crochet decrease. Just be careful to really insert your hook into the next stitch and not into the previous stitch because after doing so many decreases, it's really hard to see which is the next stitch. And then again, we're gonna continue with 25 half double crochet until we reach the end of the round. So we're gonna finish off the row again with a slip stitch to connect with the first half double crochet and then we're gonna chain two and now we're gonna make 18 half double crochet and next we're gonna make two half double crochet decreases so this is the first decrease and the second decrease and then again we're gonna make 25 half double crochet until we reach the end of the round Now we're gonna again chain two and we're going to make 17 half double crochet. After we made that 17 half double crochet, we're gonna do one decrease. And then we're gonna make again 25 half double crochet <laughs> until we reach the end of the row. And now we're gonna again chain two and we're gonna make 44 half double crochet into each stitch until we reach the end of the row so we are done with all the decreases and at the end of the row we're gonna connect again with a slip stitch so now you can see that our shoe has gotten really the shape of a shoe and now we have to make the row where we are going to put inside the ribbon to tie the shoe off to make it tighter and for that we are going to make double crochet now so we are going to chain three one two three and then we are going to make two double crochet 
so one double crochet and one more <laughs> then we are going to chain one we're gonna skip one stitch and then we're gonna make two more double crochet into the next two stitches and we are going to continue this pattern until the end of the row so we're gonna chain one skip one stitch and make two half double crochet so after we reach the end of the row this looks like this we're gonna chain one more make one half double crochet uh, sorry double crochet and then we are going to connect with a slip stitch now we are going to make two we're gonna chain two and then we're gonna make again a full round of half double crochet so it's gonna be in total 43 half double crochet and at the end of the round you're gonna connect again with a slip stitch and we when you reach the chain that you made in the previous row you're gonna simply enter this uh, half double crochet into the chain So as soon as we reached at the end of the row, we are going to repeat exactly these uh, rounds of simple half double crochet. So you can see here how many we made. Um, we're gonna make it until we reach the granny before we start the granny stitch pattern and it's gonna be a total of seven rows. So you're gonna continue this pattern for the next <laughs> for the next six rows. So now we are finished with the seven rows of half double crochet. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Exactly the same as we did at the other shoe. Seven, yes. And now we are going to make the granny stitch pattern. And for that, first of all, we're going to change the color. And now we're going to chain two. We're not going to cut off the other yarn because we're gonna need it later. And then we're going to make three half double crochet into the same stitch. One, two, and three. we're gonna skip two stitches and we're going to make again three half double crochet into the third stitch so it's one two and three and we're gonna continue this pattern for the next rows so leave out two three half double crochet into the same stitch leave out two stitches again and again three half double crochet into the same stitch so you're gonna continue this pattern for the entire row 
and then I'm gonna meet you at the end of the row. So we now finished the full round of uh, granny stitches and now we are going to combine we're gonna do one more um, granny stitch first And then we're gonna combine with the first stitch uh, with the slip stitch. So, and now we finish the row. We will keep the two yarns in the front. So it's gonna look like this because we're gonna turn over this part so that you cannot see the changes of the yarns in front. So make sure that the yarn is always in the front of you. And then you're gonna change the color again. So we're gonna repeat exactly the same thing. We're gonna chain two and we're going to make three half double crochet into that chain space that we have. So it's one, two and three. So basically we're not going to crochet into a stitch but into that chain space. And we're gonna continue that until the end of the row. We're gonna change the color again and do the same thing again. We're gonna continue this pattern until we reach this length, which will be a total of 10 rows. So, and here we finished making the 10 rows and you can also see that I already again forget filming so the last after doing the last row of um, granny stitch pattern you're gonna do a full row of just simple single crochet and yeah that's the finished work as you can see you can turn it over and you can check if the length is all right and then you can just weave in the uh, the leftover yarn and then just cut off so after you finish weaving in all the leftover yarns we are going to make this ribbon part to tie off the shoe So you're gonna start off by making a slip knot and then you're gonna chain. It actually doesn't matter how long the chain will be, just make sure that it will be as long as that you can feel comfortable to make a, like to tie it off. So 
My chain, like my foundation chain, was um, the length of, is the length of 45 centimeters. And yeah, you're just gonna chain until you reach that length. And after you reach the, your desired length, you're gonna make just simply single crochet into each stitch until you reach the end of the row. Yes, and as soon as you reach the end of the row, you're gonna simply tie off the, your work with a slip stitch and then you're gonna cut off the yarn and yes that's it you can then weave in the leftover yarn and then you have um, your ribbon to um, tie your shoes Don't leave me.